is Taxon. I'm most impressed. Oh, it's Aubrey. <laughs> oh, Nyala. Uh oh. That was incredible. <laughs> so why is everything running? Here come more. Wild dogs. There's wild dogs in the sighting. Unbelievable. Oh, it's going after the Nyala. Standoff. The little Nyala doesn't have anywhere to go. And he's basically playing ring around the rosy. I don't believe this. Where did you come from? I wondered why that Nyala was so panicked. Unbelievable. Karula's watching where they're going. Let's go find them. Sorry, Karula. Let's go find these wild dogs. <laughs> Steph, Steph was ch chatting yesterday about the fact that I have the weirdest, randomest luck when it comes to sightings. <laughs> I don't believe this. Let's just go see. I wonder if they caught that in Yala. I think they might have. They were so, so close. That's why the little cubs ra raced off. They obviously knew something we didn't. And that's why Karula's been on edge the whole time. I wondered... There they go. Hold on. Sorry, guys. I've got to listen to my game drive channel now. Here goes the bouncing wild dog. Unbelievable. And they're off. Once again. They got it, they got it, they got it. They got the Nyala. There they go, they've got it. Oh, poor little thing. You didn't really have a chance, did you? Oh, shame. It's a little tiny little Nyala, and that's it, gone. Unbelievably quick. That's incredible. Oh, what an incredible morning. <laughs> it's unbelievable. These wild dogs just have the most incredible way of showing up. Now for those of you who are sensitive, I'm sorry, this has happened so quickly I didn't even have a chance to warn you. But if you are sensitive, please don't watch what's happening right now. Although already I can tell you that this Nyala's death was very quick. I can hear the squeaking of the wild dogs. I'm going to reposition now that we've had a chance to see them. It's basically almost finished and they're going to be up and running in just a few moments. The amazing thing about wild dog is that their ability to scoff incredibly quickly and then just move on to the next thing. Because their metabolisms run so high and they are such efficient hunters. Hi guys. Well done. I'm going to stop here so you can hear the sounds. See their excitement of the tails up. And pulling it apart. And that entire carcass is gone in less than what's it? Five minutes? Less than that. Three minutes. Three minutes. Unbelievable. I think this is the three of them, the dispersal pack from the lower Sabi pack. But we've got to be careful of making that assumption. So for those of you who are taking screenshots or who are still watching, please take screenshots and send them through to hashtag Safari Live of all of them, all three of them. Ideally the left side, but right side is fine. One female and two males, I think. Or is it two females and one male? 
Now the male's got it. No, it's two males and a female. Our stations come along that two track. They are on the northern side. They've got a Nyala Bamba. Their tails up, wagging. Very, very excited about the fact that they've got breakfast. Oh, shame! Not a good, not a good morning for that poor little Nyala. It did not stand a chance. But an amazing morning sighting for us. Now, for those of you that get or are concerned about Karula, oh, I'm going backwards now. Please don't be, or her cubs. They have, this is not the first time we've seen a sighting where wild dogs have come running in and encountering leopards, and the cubs will be, have been straight up into a tree and safely there in no time at all. So we don't need to worry that these things are, these animals are no longer a threat to Karula's cubs. They're big enough and old enough to look after themselves. I wonder, it's amazing we've had encounters of this nature with these wild dogs. The lower Sabi pack. They dispersed all the way from a pack that is in the southern Kruger. And unfortunately, the rest of their pack succumbed to an outbreak of canine distemper which is one of the things that has made wild dogs one of the most endangered species that we get out here. So, For those of you who are joining us, these are one of the most endangered, in fact the second most endangered carnivore in Africa. And I'm so, so glad that you've got a chance to see them. Every single moment that we spend is a gift. Oh, now that's not going to be very yummy. Yuck! Stomach contents! wonderful thing about wild dogs is they don't fight over food. They beg. They play the submissive game. Whoever can be more submissive actually wins. Now that squealing, high-pitched squealing, ears flat and down, is a wild dog behaving submissively and basically a begging behavior that stems all the way from puppyhood. Then comes the third one with its snack, with its lunchbox. Now, I said that that Nyala's death was quick. It was so quick. Tamira, you wanted to know if it's true that wild dogs eat their prey alive. Sort of, yes. But in a way, it's actually much, much faster. I'm not sure, Tamira, if you witnessed that lion kill, or if you have ever witnessed one of our live lion kills, or perhaps you couldn't witness it. It is one of the slowest processes. It is, especially with something that large. Whereas with wild dogs, they essentially grab their prey, and it sounds terrible. They tear it limb from limb and immediately eviscerate it. But it's actually, in a way, it is quicker than a death by one of the big cats. It's not slow strangulation. And in the space of two seconds, these wild dogs have caught and killed that Nyala and started feeding. So yes, in a way it is true that they eat their prey alive. So does everything out here. Lions definitely do, leopards do as well. Sometimes leopards play with their food. They're not governed by the same moral choices. I'm just saying good morning to Tax and his guests who look positively flabbergasted at their luck. There's nothing left. They are such amazingly efficient predators. Now, unlike our leopards and our lions, if a leopard had been spotted by those nyalos the wild dog had been, there is no way that the leopard would even think about trying to catch it. These wild dogs have such a different hunting approach, coursing through the bush, using those massive radar ears to locate their prey, and then just chasing them down. They are fast and they have such incredible stamina. They're positively tireless. I still can't believe we had wild dogs rush into that sighting. This is becoming a bit of a thing now. Surprise wild dogs in the morning. <laughs> 